First Vice President of Azerbaijan, Mehdi Banaliva, said the meeting was dedicated to the solution of problems of internally displaced people, noted that the problem was in the focus of the state's attention for more than 20 years. Mehdi Banaliva said as a result of the implementation of state program on improving living conditions of refugees and IDPs signed by President Ilham Aliyev, necessary activities on social sphere, education, employment, living conditions and medical provision were carried out. Azerbaijan's first vice president said about 100 modern residential complexes had been built for IDPs in the regions. 250,000 IDPs had been provided with new flats, 150 schools, 60 medical centers and kindergartens had been constructed in the settlements. Necessary steps have been taken for the employment of our compatriots. Hundreds of thousands of refugees and IDPs have been employed over the past 13 years. First Vice President Mehriban Aliva said despite this, a lot of internally displaced families were still living in the damaged buildings, added that extra steps were needed to accelerate activities to improve their living conditions. Azerbaijan's First Vice President underlined that refugees and IDPs living in Baku and Sumgayit must be moved to new flats. Additional funds were needed for this purpose. Areas must be allotted for the construction of new buildings and construction must be started soon. She said flats must be allotted in the new buildings in Baku and Sumgay to resettle refugees and IDPs. A brief presentation was made on the work done with regard to refugees and IDPs up to now. The presentation showed that Armenian Azerbaijan Nagorno Karabakh conflict caused more than $800,000 billion damage to Azerbaijan's economy. As a result of the policy pursued by the national white leader Heydar Aliyev, the world community was informed about the truths on the conflict. President Ilham Aliyev, who is taking expedient measures to strengthen social protection and improve living conditions of IDPs, signed 55 decrees and executive orders in 2003-2017. 95 settlements were built, 151 schools, 58 cultural facilities, 59 medical facilities and other infrastructure facilities were built in 2001 to 2016. The level of poverty among the IDPs dropped from 75% to 12%. Afterwards, Deputy Prime Minister, Chairman of the State Committee on Refugees and IDPs Ali Asanov, Baku Mayor Hajibal Abu Talibov, Head of Sumgait City Executive Authority Zakir Farajov made speeches. Making a closing speech at the meeting, First Vice President of Azerbaijan Mehriban Aliyeva spoke about the importance of making joint efforts to solve the problem as soon as possible. Mehir Ben Aliva said much had been done with the construction and reconstruction of kindergartens, noted that in some cases those kindergartens didn't function at full capacity. Mehir Ben Aliva underlined that the Minister of Finance and Baku Mayor's office should set up a working group to solve the problem as soon as possible. Our major goal is to provide with flats 4,000 internally displaced families in Baku and Sumgait. The families living in the hardest conditions must be moved to new buildings soon, said Mehdi Banaliva, and gave instructions on coordination among the relevant government agencies. Azerbaijan's first vice president gave instructions on the executive authorities for employment of refugees and IDPs. Mehdi Banaliva expressed her confidence that Armenian Azerbaijan Nagorno Karabakh conflict will be solved fairly. Our territorial integrity will be restored, all refugees and IDPs will return home.